Hi friends, welcome back to CAA's YouTube channel, The Creative Arts Video. And today, uh, we are going to spend some time with our music therapist, Joanna. And you or your child will learn um, some very useful skills um, utilizing your breath to calm the inner monster. And the inner monster can look like and frowning with frowning eyebrows and sharp teeth and that's when we feel angry and when we feel like we just want to move our body and shout and there are some good ways to calm it or allow it to be expressed in a safer and more productive um, ways um, so i hope you enjoy the video and find it um, helpful for you to be friends with your inner monster. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Joanna and I'm excited to be making music with you today. And besides me, I have four other friends who I would like to introduce you to. So if you're ready, here they are. I have... <gasps> Mmm, who is this? Somebody with one eye and teeth and horns. This is a friendly monster, maybe? And then I have this friendly monster, too. Oh, so smiling. And how does this one look? I think this one has three eyes and not just one. Well, maybe the first and this one could share eyes. And then besides that, ooh, this one is smiling and has really, you know, really friendly eyes as well. And then finally, mm, this monster's eyes are going. Can you look there? Where, where is the eyes going? Left, right, up, down? So I wonder which monster friend is your favorite? We have this one, we have this monster, and we have these two with different numbers of eyes. I think that my favorite is this monster. I like the way it looks to the side. And you know what I realize? All of the monsters seem to be smiling. They are really friendly monsters. This one's smiling. This one's also smiling. And these two have big smiles. What does your smile look like? Is it a smile with no teeth? Is it a big smile? Is it a friendly smile with our eyes and our eyebrows going? Yeah, that's amazing. You have a beautiful smile. And you know what? These are all my friendly monster friends. But sometimes I know that monsters can get mad. And monsters can get angry. And monsters can feel bad. And I know that sometimes it feels like there's a monster that inside us and that's a monster that is mad. What do you like? What do you look like when you're mad? I think sometimes when I'm mad, my eyebrows go like this. And when I'm angry, my eyebrows go really close together and they go up and I'm like when I'm angry. What do you look like when you're angry? And sometimes our monsters feel bad. So I've learned that even when I get so mad that I want to shout, there is a way to calm that inner monster inside me and to tell it to just relax. And I've learned this song from Sesame Street and I would love to sing it with you. So sometimes the monster that's inside you is a monster that is mad. Can you show your mad face? Is a monster who is angry and it's a monster 
who feels bad when your monster wants to throw things and your monster wants to shout there is a way to calm your inner monster and just tell it to chill out oh just breathe we're gonna breathe right through it belly breathe this is how you do it just breathe i gonna breathe right through it that we breathe this is how you do it you ready and i'm gonna borrow my monster oh put your hands on your belly on your belly to begin put your hands on your belly and slowly breathe in and your belly's gonna go bigger as you breathe in put your hands on your belly on your belly to begin put your hands on your belly and slowly breathe in and out and in our belly is gonna go big and out yeah just like that oh just breathe we're gonna breathe right through a belly breathe if this is how you do it just breathe we're gonna breathe right through a belly breathe if this is how you do it now both hands on our belly. Put your hands on your belly, on your belly to begin. Put your hands on your belly and slowly breathe in. Oh, put your hands on your belly, on your belly to begin. Put your hands on your belly and slowly breathe in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. That's right, just like that. And I really enjoyed making these monster eyebrows, angry eyebrows, and you can make them too. All I did was to cut up some of my black construction paper. You can see where I made the cuts. And if you have black paper, you can cut it too at the edges. So here, you can ask a grown-up to help you with the scissors if you need. And I made these eyebrows a little thin, but you know, any shape will work. You can have them as triangles, long triangles. Whoop, my eyebrow dropped. You can have them as long triangles. You can have, if you would like, rectangular eyebrows. Here, this one's a little long, so I'm gonna cut them in half. Any shape you want. What kind of eyebrows would you like? What eyebrows look really angry and what eyebrows look mad? So we have the eyebrows. And then another thing that we can do together is to make some monster teeth. So this little monster here has two teeth going up. This one, how many, how many of the teeth can you count? Okay, did you get it? I think I counted eight. And you know, this one has kind of rounded teeth. And then this monster also, how many does this one have? Does this one have six teeth? Mm -hmm. And this one's tongue is going out there. This one you can also see. Ah, uh, there's something in its mouth. And then this monster, just like that green one, has two teeth sticking out. When I think of a monster, I think of really sharp teeth. And so I'm going to try drawing some monster teeth on this paper and let's see what I come up with. So here I'm going, and then I'm going to make some really super sharp, ooh, super sharp teeth. 
Mmm, do you think this looks like monster tea? Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try cutting the teeth out. And let's see, let's see how that goes. So again, if you're drawing monster teeth, maybe get a grown up to help you with the scissors if you need. My scissors is a little big, but maybe you have a small one. And here we go. Halfway there, I'm gonna cut all the jagged, sharp edge teeth out. And here we go. <gasps> Do you see that? Monster teeth! And I'm going to try and find a way to attach it to my face so that I can play the guitar and sing at the same time. So I'm going to make a cut here and a cut on the other end. Okay, I have one. I'm going to make the other one. And then I have some rubber bands to help me. So here I'm going to thread it through. And make a loop. There, I have one side, and let me try the other side now. Okay. I think I'm ready. Are you ready to watch this? I'm going to now have my monster teeth. And let me find my monster eyebrows again. Okay, these are my monster eyebrows. And again, let's see, what does it look like to be a mad monster? Urgh, or a monster who is angry. Or a monster who wants to throw things. Or a monster who is just crazy. And remember, there is a way to calm your inner monster and just tell it to chill out. And it's a little hard for me to sing with these monster teeth, but if you've made some, you can try them on. Let's see what your monster looks like. And if you had really angry eyebrows for your angry monster or your mad monster. And together we can sing this song that reminds us that we can just Breathe, we're gonna breathe right through it, belly, breathe. This is how we do it, just breathe. We're gonna breathe right through it, belly, breathe. This is how we do it. Just put your hands on your belly, on your belly to begin. Put your hands on your belly and slowly breathe in. Two, three, Four and just breathe. We're gonna breathe right through it, belly breathe. This is how we do it, just breathe. We're gonna breathe right through it, belly breathe. This is how we do it together. Put your hands on your belly, on your belly to begin. Put your hands on your belly and slowly breathe in and out. And in, two, three, four, and out. And just breathe. So thank you for spending this time with me, breathing, making music, making monsters. Should we look at our monsters again? I wonder what yours looks like. And remember, whenever we feel mad, ooh, or angry, or that we want to throw things, or that we just can't stop moving. We can just put our hands on our belly, on our belly to begin. Put our hands on our belly and slowly breathe in. 
Thank you for spending this time with me and I hope that you have an amazing time hanging out with the monster puppet that you made. I wonder if yours has sharp teeth, rounded teeth, maybe two big teeth or you know just little little teeth. I wonder what your monster looks like and just have fun with that and thank you again. Goodbye. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed your time with Joanna making monsters and learning the song. And before we say goodbye, let's practice again what you learn. Um, put your hand in your, on your belly. Here's my belly. And sometimes it can be helpful if you put your hand on your head too, so that you will have both hands on your body to help you calm down and you breathe in you can count two three four and out we're gonna count to seven ready two three four five six seven and in again two three four out two three four five six seven you can even put your hand in front of your mouth and feel the air blow, 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 blow. Or you can even practice blowing out all five candles. Ready, breathe in. And try to blow out the candles. You did it. All right. So that's a very easy way to help putting the monster to sleep just for now. And I hope you enjoy a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye.